All right, breakfast is served. Caleb made these eggs, you guys. I helped a little bit, obviously. Um, yeah. But also, look, check this out. He's the, I think he's the only kid I know who has to have freshly chopped chives on his eggs. Hey, everyone. Okay, so it has been a minute since we have done a home vlog. To the extent, you know how, like, you always think that things are, like, it didn't happen that long ago, and then you're proven wrong? I was thinking about it the other day, and I was like, I think the last time we did a home vlog was, like, back in February. It was Christmas. Christmas was our last home vlog. Tomorrow is June 1st. This is our first home vlog of the year. I, my mind was blown. We've just been so busy with like, you know, we, you know, we've done the Hawaii videos, our mouse bites, our Disney World content, and then there's just been a lot going on with wrapping up Caleb's school year. Um, we just had, you know, this was Memorial Day weekend. This was Caleb's very first weekend of summer vacation. So we went all out, we did a lot of stuff. We recorded some things on our phone so we can kind of share it with you. Um, but yeah, here we go. First home vlog of 2023. Okay, so we're gonna go upstairs into my room because um, we're gonna have the Roomba going and Caleb is at a stressful part with his Zelda game and I wanna give him some space. So one of the things I wanna share with you guys first and foremost is that Caleb has just wrapped up his first year of kindergarten. Um, we mentioned this on the live and I don't wanna go into the, the specifics of it, but we have decided it was in his best interest if he repeats kindergarten next year. So um, he will be going back. So that's why I say he finished up his first year of kindergarten. But um, we did, you know, discussing it with his teacher, we thought it would be fun for him to still participate in like the graduation ceremonies and end of year stuff. So we did let him do that. Steve and I go to this graduation ceremony. It was last Thursday morning. We were floored. You know when a kid like learns a song or a dance at school, usually they come home and then they like, they practice at home or you kind of hear them singing the song themselves while they're like playing or coloring or something. Caleb did absolutely none of that. So Steve and I show up, we go into the multi-purpose room and the show starts and like our jaws were on the floor. And then on top of that, we were grinning from ear to ear at Little Man's enthusiasm for these songs. I'm gonna put the video in right now. It's adorable. So as you can see, Caleb did amazing. We were so proud of him. We were so impressed. We were not expecting that at all. Um, like I said, he gave no indication that he was gonna be singing, dancing, or doing any of these things. It was a complete surprise. It was amazing. Um, so after that, the kids got to leave. It was just, they really just showed up for the ceremony and that was it. Um, we decided to go have a nice lunch up in Phoenix. And then um, I had to go to Michael's because there's something I wanna start doing. I'm gonna show you. I went ahead and got this scrapbook. Oh, I can't open it up yet. It's so completely sealed, but I got this scrapbook and then I got these really cute like kindergarten stickers made for scrapbooking. Um, and then these are Caleb's pictures. This is his, oh, here's a bigger one. Um, here's his little graduation photo. I think you can see that. Um, and then this is actually the, uh, the beginning of the school year picture. And in here, I've just saved a lot of his stuff, a lot of his schoolwork, uh, a bunch of things that I have saved um, over the past year. I've mentioned this a few times, but to the point of being just like ridiculous, I am such a sentimentalist. I kind of keep everything. I'm a bit of a pack rat. It's something I'm trying to work on. But when it comes to schoolwork of your, of your kid, you know, some of the stuff he's made has been really, really cute. I want to remember it. Um, so I thought I would start scrapbooking. I'm obviously not going to scrapbook every piece of paper that he brought home, but I've never scrapbooked before, so this is new to me. But I was thinking of doing like, I don't think a page would be enough, but maybe like two pages each year and I'll just add to it. We'll see how long I keep up with it. But yeah, it's something I really want to do. Admittedly, another reason why I haven't been in the mood to vlog lately is because our house has become a little bit uh, chaotic at the moment. 
I know it's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but sometimes I get a little self-conscious if I feel like my house is not in the condition where I want to share it with everyone, <laughs> but um, I'm sure you can understand. But yeah, we've just been hanging out. Um, we've been doing a lot, to be quite honest, because we want to make this first weekend of summer vacation for Caleb a lot of fun. On Friday, we went and saw the Lego Batman movie. Our local movie theater does those rerun movies for kids when there's no school. Like Tickets are like $3, so it was great. And then um, we've been doing pool days. Our friends have a really nice pool. We go over to their house, we swim with them. Sometimes they even let us just swim when they're busy working. It's awesome. Um, and then we also saw The Little Mermaid. We took Caleb to see it. By the way, actually, let's see. Do I want to start on this note or not? It was really great. I really enjoyed it. I kind of went in with a high level of skepticism. Um, I was blown away. I really liked it. I will say this, though. It's very long. It was like, by the time you add trailers, it was two and a half hours. And so Caleb started to get a little antsy towards the end of it, but ultimately he did a great job. But the movie's great. I just, I feel like, I feel like some of the songs could have been cut. I have to be honest, uh, Steve took the initiative yesterday and started vlogging. Um, I did, I was not camera ready and I didn't want to, I, I wasn't in the mood to vlog yesterday. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but he and Caleb made some chocolate chip cupcakes and they turned out amazing. So I will go ahead and share that footage now. Continuing on with the vlog that cannot get up off its feet uh, because we just have so many things going on. Um, it is now Tuesday, Tuesday, June 6th, I think. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if we've ever, I don't know if we've ever mentioned it in the vlogs. I know we've mentioned it on a couple of the lives, but I know not everybody watches lives. We are going to Disney World this week and we're gonna be there for three weeks. We are so excited. So we're getting an Airbnb. Um, Steve, he's he's not taking any vacation time, but he has a remote job that he can work anywhere. Um, so it's gonna be like an, an interesting trip. It's gonna be kind of like living like locals for a bit. We leave Friday morning. As I said, today's Tuesday. So right now I'm in the thick of it, of trying to get this house in order, get us all packed, make sure we have everything. Um, so I'm getting a little stressed. It's not my travel anxiety though. I'm just kind of like in the middle of a million projects. Um, I wanna clean, I wanna do laundry, but I keep getting sidetracked. To be quite honest, the biggest distraction I've had has been uh, the scrapbooking project I decided to start, um, and I haven't done a thing, but I was going through the stickers again, and I realized there's a really cute one that says, happy first day of kindergarten. And we did take Caleb's picture, so I got that printed out on his first day. We usually have a sign that he's holding, but we were I think we were rushed that morning, and so we forgot it. Um, but yeah, so I can cut that out and then use that sticker with it. And then I've gone through all the papers to make, I pulled all the stuff that I want to put in, not this pile here. Um, here's the pile of the stuff that I'd like to incorporate, but this is super cute. He drew a picture of me and Steve and him, um, dad and daddy. So I'll probably just like cut this part out. Uh, we can get rid of all this extra stuff. And I thought this one was funny too. This was, what will you do with a hundred dollars? And he put, I will give it to dad. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to keep that one. <sighs> okay, I need to kind of like just like calm down and breathe for a second. Um, as I mentioned, I don't, it's not travel anxiety. I just, I mean, I guess it is to an extent, but it's like, I just feel like I've got a million things I want to get done. And I'm just, I'm in the middle of like 16 projects all at the same time. And it's, my brain is kind of like ping ponging all over the place, which is probably one of the reasons why this vlog is all over the place. But I think, you know, it's so funny. Steve was like, let's go have a pool day. And I'm like, that sounds amazing because that's what happens to me. I get so like bogged down with all this crazy stuff that I feel like I need to get done that I wind up just becoming like seized up with anxiety and I don't do anything. <laughs> I, I go to sleep or something. I take a nap or something, right? Okay, I'm bringing the camera down here. I'm introducing Steve because I need to be calmed down. I'm a little hyperventilating right now because I'm so stressed out. There's a lot going on this week. There yeah. is. So. I feel like there's been a lot going on this whole year. Yes. 
uh, and not devaluing any of that. But just giving you an idea, like we're, we're prepping for our Orlando trip, which we take off on this Friday. Yeah. And I'm sure Mike is trying to think through his head, how do I manage three weeks away, all that stuff, plus vlogging, plus all this other fun stuff around the house. Right. I've been freaking out mainly because we haven't put out a vlog in so long. And I... I've mentioned already that it's hard to get back into the groove yeah, with I mean, it. That's why we do lives, because lives are very yeah. much easier just to be able to do that for an hour. We're committed. We're good. We're done. Content's out. Mm-hmm. Fantastic, right? But I also mentioned that it's driving me nuts because I want to make sure... I also mentioned I want to make sure that Caleb's not in front of the TV all day long. Right. And sometimes it's just hard to kind of think of all these different <clears throat> things you can do. Yeah. Um, we've been trying to go to the park. We've been having pool days. I know tomorrow we're going to, we're going to go to the splash pad with his cousin. So we're that's good. We're probably going to go to a pool thing this afternoon. So yeah. we're getting him out. We're getting him active. But that also takes time away from all the craziness, right? Today's laundry day. I haven't even started. I haven't even done one thing of laundry. And it is what? Uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. We got clothes. We have clothes. We're okay. We're okay. Let's just breathe. I know. Let's breathe. Relax. Caleb just put, he's resting his eyes upstairs. I just put him down for a nap. So uh, now's your downtime. Let's just. (sighs) Okay. So we are on route to our friend's house. Our friends are up in San Diego right now. So they've let us just have free range of their pool for the rest of the week, which is great. Which we love. Absolutely. So we are headed there now. Yeah. All right. And you all know that we're Arizona. But it is 100 degrees outside, 100 degrees outside, and it's windy. We tried to do this yesterday, and the wind, we were so cold. <laughs> it's 100 degrees in a pool. Like, we understand that. That doesn't make sense. But we're going to try it again. I do notice that there's a bit of a breeze out here. So hopefully we're going to have a great swim afternoon. Work is all done, and we should have a great time. So here's hoping. Here's hoping. Everybody is a star. All right, Caleb's gonna show off his cannonball here. <laughs> awesome job, bud. <laughs> we have just wrapped up our pool day. We had such a great time. Caleb was doing cannonballs all over the place. Steve and I were just relaxing. We made some tiki drinks. Um, This was much needed and I feel so much better, so much calmer. We're ending it a little early because I think we want to go home and order some food. It's Taco Tuesday. So yeah, this was perfect. (laughs) There's a remote controlled lawnmower? That's crazy. That's pretty cool. And I can do it. You can mow the lawn for us? Yeah. Awesome. And the lawnmower and the, the guy with the lawnmower. Don't like, hmm, you know what he did? I mean, the Caleb with the lawnmower. I love it. He just like makes up conversations in his head. <laughs> Full out conversation. So we are back home from swimming and now we're just relaxing. We yes. got some DoorDash. We were thinking like classic 90s like nights, what to recreate. And I thought, let's watch. Honey, I shrunk kids. Yeah, like, and he's loving it. He is absolutely loving it. And now it is Wednesday. We are just zipping through this week. Um, this morning, Caleb and I, we went to the splash pad. I met up with my niece. And so I have a question for you. My niece has a kid. So how? what is Caleb's relationship to that kid? Do you know, Steve? Okay, that's what I thought. I think I said that in the video earlier. It's his cousin. So Caleb and his little cousin went to the splash pad today. They had an absolute blast. We were there for almost two hours, uh, but we just had a great time. Um, And then Caleb had a a doctor appointment this afternoon. And then we went to our favorite restaurant. We recorded a little bit of footage because something funny happened there. But this place is called Belly and it's just such good food. It's become like our Wednesday tradition, but I'll just put the footage in right here for you to enjoy. Okay, so we are having dinner right now. This is one of our favorite spots. We've never mentioned it before. We this come is, here like weekly, right? Yeah, we come here like every Wednesday because yeah. they have um, really good fried chicken. It's like half a price fried chicken it's and Prosecco. Place. And it's a local place. So we yeah. want to get back to the local. So I ordered a soft shell <laughs> crab bao bun as my meal. <laughs> and Caleb has absconded my meal. Well, and so Caleb ordered the kids chicken, chicken tenders dinner. and french fries. Yeah, so he asked for my meal, which he's enjoying. I guess I get chicken dinners. <laughs> <laughs> they had to switch. 
Yes, but I, I need to have one bite. Have one bite. You like that one better? Yeah. He's gonna enjoy the soft shell crab bow bun. <laughs> and dad's gonna eat the kids' chicken tenders. <laughs> But in case you were wondering, this is the fried chicken. I've already eaten a couple pieces, um, but it is a really, really delicious, very, very spicy fried chicken. It's got a Szechuan dry rub and then a Vietnamese glaze. What would you say is the style of this restaurant? It's a Thai, like, spicy... Um, it's a fusion. Asian Pacific. Yeah. Uh, fusion place. So you get a little bit of flavors everywhere. So like we love that. Like it's definitely like bringing some culture here in Arizona, which we don't have. Typically. Right. And we honestly we come here like once a week. It's so we funny. do. We really do. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, it's half price. The fried chicken is half price on Wednesdays, and then um, a special on the prosecco. So. Yes. Perfect pairing. Half on a uh, Budleys and Birdies <laughs> is what they say. So love that. Okay, so we are home now, and Caleb ate such a good dinner. He did. So he ate all my dinner. <laughs> I was so, gonna say, how annoyed are you that you didn't really get much of your soft shell crab? <laughs> I'm not annoyed. I'm happy he's so adventurous. I didn't get what I wanted, but. Hey, who cares? Well, you t it was funny because you took a bite of it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's very good. <laughs> so good. And, and he agreed. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm making him a Sunday bar over here because he did such a good job at eating adult food, mm -hmm. my, my little food, but you know, yeah. So here's dessert. So here's what we've got going on. We've got a scoop. So we got these at Target. There's like, I don't know, I don't remember how much these were, but they're like 10 little cups. You get like five vanilla, five chocolates. So it's a li great little incentive for Caleb for when he eats his dinner. So, but Steve is going all out. He's gonna make him a little dessert bar. Yeah. Super cute. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're getting a little sleepy too. It's been a long day, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You have fun at the splash pad. Okay, so just checking in over here. We did find some mini marshmallows. Look at this. Steve's like going all out. We got the chocolate. Oh my gosh, what are these ones gonna be now? So we have. Okay, so we have chopped walnuts. We have some chocolate sauce. Caramel. Caramel cherries, sauce. Marshmallows. I can dress it any You can dress it however you want. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting inspiration from Parent Trap 2. <laughs> oh, okay. When they make the cookies? When they make the cookies, it has a little bit No of one will know this reference. I know, but we definitely know this reference. Okay, so we have... Uh, do you have a spoon over there, bud? Yeah, he's ready. All right, we got a spoon over there. I'm going to present his Sunday okay. offerings. So, here you, go. here you go, bud. Oh, it's melting already. Right. Oh, I better hurry then. All I right. can't. I have to wait. Look at what we have here. So, we have some caramel sauce. Caramel. Caramel. Chocolate, walnuts, marshmallows, and cherry on top. So Whoa. you make what you want. Go ahead. You can pour whatever you want on top of it. Enjoy. Like this. Chocolate? Yeah. There you go. You're not messing around. You're going right for that chocolate sauce. Well, when you look side. There you go. Hey, it's all yours. You can do whatever you want. Yep. Yeah. Good job. Thank you for. Oh, do you want a napkin? It's good uh, I think he's doing okay. He's enjoying that. <laughs> All right, what what are you gonna do next? Mm, I can put caramel. Caramel, caramel, caramel. Good. What else you want? Oh, you gonna put some cherry on top? Yummy. Marshmallow, yes, and walnuts. Yeah, but no cherry. <laughs> oh, you're so crazy. Mm. <laughs> All right, how about you try it? So, um. Well. <laughs> try and keep clean. What do you think? Good. Is it a good Sunday? Yeah. I think it looks good. Good job, buddy. We have those tired eyes, but you have your happy summer Sunday, right? Yeah. Awesome. 
And with that, I think we are going to close out this video. What has this been? Like a week and a half of yeah. vlogging? It's been summer fun. <laughs> We've just been like haphazardly just videoing yeah. here, there, left and right because Caleb's out of school. So we're just trying to like yeah. really live the life of summer with Caleb. We so. want him to have just the best experience here. It's the first couple weeks. Yeah. So yeah. I think he's done a good job of that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he has a summer Sunday. He should be enjoying this. Right. Yes. So, and then just to recap, because it is Wednesday, we only have one more day, and then we're out in Orlando. That's right, for three weeks. So, we're going to be Florida residents. Then. Yeah. So, we'll see <laughs> how that goes for us. Well, we hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.